Hey you guys, this is a great white hunter with Never Never Safari. Uh, Neo 12, nine, uh, 209 asked me to uh, make a video on how I made this ghillie suit that I wore yesterday. So uh, I'm not really going to go into a whole lot of detail because it's pretty simple. But I thought I'd show y'all what it looks like from the inside and how to make it. And if you really want to make one of these, I was looking around on the web uh, today and I found a website <laughs> called bushrags.com you can buy this pretty much the same thing I've got right here in a kit it comes with the netting I don't know if you can see this is from the inside it's like fishing like a dip net material okay and they got two different style suits they got one it's like a solid poncho like this one which I like because it keeps you know from seeing the silhouettes of your legs so you can get this one or you can get the pants and a jacket version but uh, there's a lot of work goes into these so you're doubling your work if you do that but I mean that's your choice well they do have on that website about 10 or 15 different colors you can choose from on that website to match the camouflage to your specific area that you're hunting so uh, that's probably the most important thing you can do is you got to match your surroundings to your ghillie suit and, and it's going to take time after time of putting this thing on <clears throat> checking to find out where the holes are where you need to add more where you need to take some off um, and you got to remember you're trying to match the brush you know you want this thing to look just as much as a natural brush color around your hunting environment as you can um, I learned a few tricks when I was doing mine I was going to try to show you, I'm hoping I got enough string off of this to actually show you this, but if you do get one of these and you're going to tie it, when you tie this, it comes in strip, uh, strips of different colors just like this. This just happens to be brown. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but when you tie this on that net, instead of taking it and tying it like right here in the middle, it's going to look alright, but it's just going to basically get thicker and thicker it's not going to look 3d you need to take it and tie one end a little longer than the other so when you put it in that net and you tie your knot all i do is like a simple overhead knot on it when you tie it like that when it hangs it's going to hang like that so you get 3d dimensions out of one string so you got a long one that goes a little further down and one on top of it so it starts making you look more 3D instead of more bulky because it'll just keep going out and out and out. And as far as the pants design, and the, see this is just one solid oversuit that goes over me. Now they got, I bought one of these from my dad that's a pair of pants and a jacket that comes over with a hood that goes over the jacket. And uh, that's alright, I mean I've seen him in his. The only downfall I've seen to that one is like when you're standing there, you can see a gap between his legs pretty much, or you can see a space between his legs that's not completely fully, uh, fully enclosed. So it's easier to pick him out when he's hiding. So kind of like what your mama told your sister, keep your legs together or get a poncho, one of the two. So if you don't keep your legs together, you might as well not even be wearing a suit because you can pretty much see you no matter where you're at. So. I would recommend getting one of these poncho style for hunting because you don't have to worry about whether or not you look like a two-legged animal walking through the woods because you're going to be completely concealed. And uh, the ghillie for the legs, I mean you can buy those, they're already pretty much pre-made and you just fill in gaps here and there, you, get a, you gotta buy a little extra burlap with it. But uh, It sure does cut down a lot on the time on making one of these. When you get this one you're pretty much going to get just a box of burlap and uh, that. So, but anyway, I was looking around. I went to where I got this burlap from, and I realized they they made a kit now. Since 2002, they've been making a kit for this. So I had to make all this netting myself, and I just bought the burlap extra when I bought my dad's ghillie suit that was made out of pants and a jacket. So now they've got a kit made for this. So it'll be easier for you guys to make one. When it comes to the hat, just got a piece of extra netting material here, about a one foot square probably. 
maybe 18 by 18, I'm not real sure of the dimension. But anyway, I took that and got a hat with a shotgun shell holder on the hat band and I tied that to this hat. And then when it flops over, it flops down like this. So you can't see the hat plus the hat's camo, so if there's a little gap or something, it kind of just blends in. But uh, when you're not wearing it, wanting to wear it or whatever, you can just take that strap, oh, sorry, take that strap and just put it around your neck like this, and you can kick that hat back and you'll be able to see, and your ghillie stops right here. I like that feature a lot better. <clears throat> Plus, you can take it off. Your head's pretty much the most uh, easiest thing to pick out because of your, the way your head looks. You can take this off and actually put your brush in there and see what you're doing instead of trying to put it on the back of a hoodie on your suit. So my recommendation over that would be to make a hat like this that you can take off, stick your limbs and your swamp moss or whatever you're putting in it in there so you can see what you're doing. If not, you have to take the suit off, do that, put it back on, and in the process you're going to end up knocking a lot of it off. <clears throat> but anyway, I made this video for Neil. If you wanted to see how I made it, uh, if you're interested in making one of these for yourself, I'd recommend going to bushrag.com. Uh, they do have a kit like this now, so it will be a lot of you guys to make one. Um, I think they've got 10, 15 different colors. You can choose whatever color you need. So just go outside and look and see where you're going to be hunting and try to match the colors as close as possible to where your hunting situations are. And you should blend in pretty easy. You're going to have to have a friend come and you don't have to do a hide video like I do and have a friend sit there and pick out the spots that he can see and then you have to go back in and work on those. So it's going to be a work in progress over several months before you get it looks just right. So anyway, I appreciate y'all's guys comments on the, uh, the last video I made. I didn't know if the ghillie was going to work as good as or not. So I appreciate y'all giving me the feedback on that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing videos. Until next time, we'll see you. Thank you.